If you want your ex back, you might think that talking it out with them is the way to go. After all, it's how you two connected in the beginning. And it's also how you solve most conflicts in life or work, by communicating. You know, you air your issues, listen to what they have to say, and come to a consensus. But the problem with this, this approach is, it simply doesn't work when it comes to your ex. The truth is, you can do much more to get your ex back without talking to them than you can by having a deep conversation and airing grievances. And the reason for this is simple. You've already had these conversations. If you broke up, then chances are you had more than one conversation about the issues in the relationship. And that conversation didn't ultimately save the relationship. So why should it now that you're apart? Really, it's only gonna remind your ex of the issues that led to your breakup and further cement the idea that you shouldn't be together. You almost certainly didn't break up because of an argument or because you two disagreed about something. These issues, when it comes to romantic relationships, are almost always just symptoms of the greater problem, the real reason you broke up. And that real reason is a lack of connection. Yes, almost any issue that comes up in a relationship can be solved if the connection that you have is strong enough. And truthfully, if you can maintain that connection, then most of the common issues won't become problems in the first place. The reason that many people jump to talking to their ex is because they want to address the problems logically. And as I said, with most problems, this approach does make sense. You know, you want to take the problem head on and be direct about it. But this kind of approach doesn't work very well when it comes up against emotions and specifically love. First off, you know, while you could perhaps sort out some of the issues that you and your ex had around the breakup and straighten up a misunderstanding, this is rarely enough to inspire this person to want to reconnect with you after a breakup. And this is really, it's because love is not about logic and facts. It's all about the emotions that you and the other person feel. You can make a strong argument that the two of you should be together. You can show your ex that they need you in their life and they won't be happy with anyone else. You can show them that they were wrong to end the relationship. But at the end of the day, that really means nothing when it comes to the human heart. You know, if they no longer feel that drive to be with you, then nothing that you can say is gonna change that. I mean, think about it. You know, imagine someone from your past contacts you and convinces you to sit down for a talk. Someone you have no ill will towards, but you just aren't attracted to anymore. You know, time has passed and you're too different now. Maybe they say that they can, they can make you happy that you two can have a, a wonderful life together. You know, maybe they've won the lottery and they can provide for you. They have a wonderful house that you can live in together. Would this, would this work on you? Well, of course not. You know, you don't wanna be with somebody that you're not attracted to, no matter how convincing their argument might be. It's not gonna make a difference to you at all because this is not a logical issue. It's an emotional one. So, does that mean it's hopeless for you? Well, no, there's almost always still a way to get your ex back after a breakup without begging without arguing or without manipulation. And really, it starts with you alone. So before you even think about contacting your ex, you need to work on yourself first. Now do this for your ex, for the relationship, but above all, do it for yourself. Now I can't tell you what exactly this is gonna look like for you. There's so many ways that you can work on improving your life. Just look at some of the areas in your life that you or the people around you feel are lacking. Maybe you've stopped caring about your appearance, Maybe you haven't been as healthy as you like. Maybe your living situation isn't ideal. Or maybe you just want to excel more at work or school. Really, you know, the possibilities here are endless, but, but don't get overwhelmed. Just commit yourself to this process for at least one month. Decide on a goal that you think you can achieve during this time that's going to help you improve one of the areas in your life that you feel is lacking. And you really, you, you want this goal to be, to be tangible. Something with a clear positive outcome that you think is actually achievable in this amount of time. So just, you know, get healthy. That won't work. But something maybe like you know, run a 10K marathon or 10K race, that might work. And before you commit to this goal, figure out the steps that you'll need to take to actually make it happen. And go into as much detail as possible here and write it out one step at a time. You know, maybe it starts with picking up some running shoes and a water bottle and it ends with actually running a 10K race. Really, you wanna know exactly what you're gonna do each day to reach this goal so that the guesswork is taken out of the process. Now, if you're struggling to understand how and why this process is gonna help you reconnect with your ex, well then reach out to me and let's have a conversation. I offer one-on-one -on -one ongoing coaching over at breakupbrad.com coaching. Here on YouTube, I, I do all that I can to make the process of getting your ex back straightforward, but obviously I can't cover every specific situation. And that's why I love working with people one-on-one. -on -one. Again, get all the information and sign up today at breakupbrad.com coaching. Now, 
During this time, this month or so, resist the urge to reach out to your ex for any reason. Of course, this is going to be difficult. This process is going to give you a lot of confidence and you're going to want to take this energy into a conversation with your ex to make them see you in a new light. Resist this urge whenever it comes and put that energy into achieving your goal instead. Any kind of contact with your ex during this time is just going to be counterproductive. It's just going to distract you from your goal and effectively push you even further apart. Remember, talking to your ex is not going to help you in the long run. Instead, push forward with your plan and reach towards your goal. This kind of achievement is, is infectious and it can easily bleed into other areas of your life as well. So you might find that before you've even reached your goal, that you're starting to make more and more positive changes in your life. This is great, uh, just don't be distracted from the original plan. And once you've achieved your goal, then you can start thinking about reconnecting with your ex. Now this will probably mean messaging him or her via text message, reaching out that way, but resist the urge to bring up the past or try to get them agree to, get, to agree to get back together or anything like that. In fact, don't even push for an in-person meeting right away. Just start by reminding them you exist and that you're a positive presence in their life. And from there, just start talking with them more and more if possible. And in time, you're naturally going to start to spend time together. Again, big long conversations aren't the goal here. You, we, you will rebuild the connection through flirting and through spending time together. And while that's obviously going to involve some talking, it doesn't mean you're going to have one big all-encompassing conversation that'll get you on the path to reconciliation. Remember, conversations like this are counterproductive because they put you and your ex back in the headspace that you were in before you broke up. And they also remind them of all the baggage that you two have. Now obviously you do have to have a conversation at some point, but that will never be the deciding factor in whether or not you restart the relationship. It's all about that emotional connection that you built in the first place. Without that, a relationship is basically impossible. So focus, focus on, on making your ex happy whenever you can. Since you two have already been together, you know what they like and how to provide that for them. And that does bring us to the end of this video. It's a short one today, but I hope you now understand why talking to your ex won't help you get them back. You can't fix an emotional problem with words alone. It takes a dramatic shift inside you to regain confidence and attract your ex back. And from there, it's all about flirting with them and rebuilding that connection that you once had. While you're here, uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to help me out. And while you're at it, leave a comment if you want me to cover any specific topics in any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.